Welcome back, everyone. I'm Jordan Giesegi, and this is The Limiting Factor. Today, we're going to be talking about Jeff Don from Dalhousie University. Jeff is a giant in the battery world. He pioneered technology that shortens the testing of batteries by up to eight years, and he's now partnered with Tesla. Tesla is working on a million mile battery with Jeff Don. This is critical for Tesla's success because it will allow them to dominate fossil fuel based industries such as the automobile and electricity generation. Jeff has been working on batteries since 1979, and he helped pioneer the lithium ion battery. He's the author of over 640 refereed journal papers, and about 5,400 papers cite his work each year. Jeff is most widely known for inventing the NMC chemistry for battery cathodes, which is one of the most widely used lithium ion chemistries in the world today, and is produced at a rate of 6,000 metric tons per year, meaning that 1 in 10 lithium ion batteries are using his chemistry. In 2008, Jeff and his team pioneered battery testing equipment that speeds the development of batteries by orders of magnitude. Testing that used to take years, they can do in weeks. This was done by creating testing equipment that could measure coulombic efficiency at a high degree of precision. Let's talk about what coulombic efficiency is and how it measures the speed that batteries degrade. High coulombic efficiency means that you get all of the energy back out of a cell that you put into it. When you don't get all the energy back out of a cell that you put into it, where is that energy going? It's going to unwanted reactions that break down the battery. So, coulombic efficiency helps predict when a battery will fail. High precision is required because that's the only way to predict how a cell will perform years in advance. For example, if a battery has a coulombic efficiency of 0.99 or 99%, that means 1% of the energy is going to unwanted reactions that damage the cell. That means the battery will lose about 40% of its life by 50 cycles. A typical battery today has a coulombic efficiency of 99.9%, so the battery loses about 40% of its life by 500 cycles, which is a few years. To reach a million mile battery, Tesla will need 4,000 cycles. In other words, they'll need another order of magnitude greater coulombic efficiency than a typical battery. They'll need 99.99%. This battery would last decades. If Jeff Don creates this battery with Tesla, it will be a defining achievement. For reference, Tesla batteries already have a coulombic efficiency of around 99.95% and the potential to last up to 2,000 cycles, which is already way ahead of the competition. Moving forward to 2015, Jeff saw what Tesla was doing with the Gigafactory and approached Tesla because he said he had to be part of what they were doing. In 2016, he ended his 20-year partnership with 3M and entered into a five-year agreement with Tesla. Since then, we've seen Jeff's team publish several papers and register patents for approaches to solving the 1 million mile battery problem through better battery chemistry and single crystalled cathode material. I don't think Jeff is sharing everything yet. As Elon said, their secret sauce will be revealed at the Battery Investor Day sometime in the next few months. For the science nerds, we're now going to take a closer look at Jeff's setup, test results, and how they compare to industry standard methods of evaluating batteries. This is a bank of 100 high-precision coulometry machines that charge and discharge batteries at a constant temperature. The precision level they measure to is five decimal places. The equivalent would be the ability to consistently weigh a 100 kg or 220 pound person to one gram. And finally, here is an example of the results. In the upper right is the testing Jeff and his team do. The graph is showing 0 to 16 cycles and a coulombic efficiency of 0.996 to 1. The higher the better. Notice that we're only talking about a difference of 0 0.002, which is 0.2% between the best performing cell, which is a triangle, and the worst performing cell, which is a plus. If you look at the graph in the center bottom, we can see a typical testing process showing 0 to 600 cycles. Again. The best performing is the triangle, and the worst is the plus, which is what Jeff's measurements had already predicted by 16 cycles. This is the power of his testing method, and also shows the power of exponential change over time. A 0.2% decrease in coulombic efficiency means about a 70% decrease in battery life. For long life batteries, some of these tests run for 8 years. Think about that. Thousands of cycles and 8 years of testing to find out how one cell chemistry works. Jeff's lab can do it in a few weeks. So, in short, 
If Tesla's goal is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, Jeff Don is one of Tesla's secret weapons. His lab is helping place them perhaps years ahead of the competition. Elon is gathering the best and brightest in many different technologies, and the result is clear. Tesla is crushing the competition without even a distant second. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I did making it. In the next video, we're going to be talking about Shirley Monk from the University of California, San Diego. Shirley's lab specializes in characterization and modeling. Characterization is looking into a battery cell to find out what's actually going on, sometimes even in real time. Modeling is using AI and big data to try to predict which materials will make the best batteries. I'm Jordan Gieske, this is The Limiting Factor, and thanks for tuning in.